Dwight Howard, he sat down with our own Hannah Storm and addressed the recent rumors uh, about what was going on with him and Coach Stan Van Gundy. Take a listen. It was just bizarre how the whole thing happened, you know, but I haven't said anything this season, you know, to anybody in management about, you know, uh, yeah, we need to do this with Stan or this, you know, or vice versa. You know, they never said, hey, we'll do this for you. Um, so it just kind of threw me off, you know. Have you said it in past seasons? Have I said it before? Mm -hmm. uh, being upset, yeah, you know, I said it, you know, but um, I've always come back and say, you know, I'll do a better job. You know, I'll take more of a hit. All right, Israel, we're going to play a little game. You get two choices. You keep Dwight Howard or you keep Stan Van Gundy. Who you got? This is going to sound crazy because to not keep a guy who you can put in the top four or five of the MVP balloting pretty much every year since he broke out, it seems like a huge mistake because the players are always more important than the coach. But I would take Stan Van Gundy. You are crazy. Israel, that is that crazy. You are, you are crazy. <laughs> really? Uh, yes. Really? <laughs> yes. The reason is, okay, you've got this guy who now has more power, you could say, than he's ever had with the organization. He has no clue what to do with it. You have no idea whether he's going to say one thing or say a different thing. And right there in that clip, he didn't say he didn't ask for Stan to, 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 to go. He said, didn't do it this year. It could have been a standing request for him. He could have gone in there and said from the beginning, look, if I ever have my choice, I want Stan out of here. Okay, it was, it was a very weak denial. Okay, Stan having the magic since he's gotten there, have the fourth best record in the league ahead of uh, behind only you know some of the, t the best in the, obviously in yeah. the league yeah. so he has proven with different groups of people that he can coach a team and get the best out of that now, team. Now, wait a minute. So you if say you wait, 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 wait. People is if one mainstay. Let's not go. No, it's not. Yeah, I'm talking about the with the Heat. He had, three right. different, he had three different groups, uh, basically, in, in three years with the Heat. How many okay. championships does so, he have? So, he's been, to, he's been to the finals, okay, with, with Rashard Lewis as his power forward. He's doing did a great job with Ryan Anderson as his power forward. I'm saying if you can get a very good return in trading Dwight Howard, Stan's going to be able to coach that team to its its highest level, the best you can get out of it, and they're going to be a contending team. If you get proper value for Dwight, I think he is more of a sure thing than what you're going to get with Dwight because Dwight has no idea what it's going to be like to play for a coach that's not Stan Van Gundy and not that style of coach. Uh, you're not I'm, buying. I'm, I'm, not I'm, not buying. I'm not buying at all. A, the NBA is a player's league, has always been a player's Agreed. league. I agree. B, Stan Van Gundy sells you zero tickets. And, and, and unless, even, even if a guy, I will give you some, some credence if he had won an NBA title or two, and then you really look at it and say, this guy can, can, can get it done, and he has. He hasn't. The one chance he had, the, the, the real chance to win, what happened? They blew that by messing up the whole thing at the end in the NBA Finals. Those you are shake unique your consequences head. because well, Jameer but, Nelson, I mean, if they had their, 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 their team complete for the entire season, well, that's he not didn't even play, an issue. He didn't play for four months, and what did they do? Right. They reasserted yeah. him. And, they were, and by the way, just for the record, Rob and I picked the Magic going into that yeah. series, so we were both and outraged. there were some outside we influences there. Absolutely. It wasn't strictly okay. So, so you, you pointed out that wasn't all his It wasn't choice. all his decision. There was some outside influences there. Okay, which is bad then. You know what I mean? That that even happened and that Stan Van Gundy couldn't dictate what was happening out on the court with his team, especially in such a situation. Because we were like the only two to pick mm -hmm. uh, them over Cleveland yeah. that year. Yeah. So anyway, I just don't see how you give up a talent like that for coaches. I'm sorry. Coaches are replaceable. I'm not right. saying he's I'm a not bum. saying just I'm give him up. I'm that. not saying wave him. But if you get a quality trade, let's, well, let's, let's, let's go back if in get time rid for of him, If you get rid of him, right? If you get rid of Stan Van Gundy, he might fall. He might fall in line and be what you're looking for if you get the right guy around Mike, Dwight Howard. You have no idea. Let's well, go back in time well, for a second. But if you don't really have quickly, Dwight Rob, Howard, I'm not. You go back in time for a second. If you're and and there was rumors that this was out there. Who knows if it's legit? I, I tend to doubt it a little bit. But if if you're the the Magic offering, the Lakers are offering you Pau Gasol and Andrew Bynum for Dwight Howard. And? Knowing, yes, it but couldn't be both. You, no would, way. Would you have made? Would you have made for either one of those guys? For 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 Andrew Bynum, Andrew Bynum for Dwight Howard straight up? Do you think 
that, that Stan can coach that team to a, to, a, to a high level, possibly even a finals appearance. Yeah, I would have made that trade only from the standpoint that Dwight Howard wasn't ready to commit and hasn't signed a contract. That's the only reason. Hasn't that's, done oh, that yet either. Well, that's the only reason. But, but, but they brought him back. They could have got rid of him. They could have sent him to the Nets uh, a couple of months for, ago. For, and they, for, right? for nothing in but, return. But they didn't do Lopez. it. Okay, but I'm just saying, but they didn't do it. So Yeah, you give me du uh, buying him for Dwight right now. I, know you I, I could coach that team yeah. to a high level. Because right, I finally okay. have... Uh, a center in the fourth quarter who could make free throws and actually maybe even make a couple of shots in the fourth, fourth quarter. <laughs> Why? Well, seriously. Okay, we always keep it very real on the show. For the record, you have covered Stan for a long yeah. time. You know him maybe may very, is it fair to say very well? Sure. Okay, so naturally you, you like what you see. He's a good guy. He's fun to be around. I think he's great with the media. He, he's very willing and open. Uh, he, he's the best. When, when I see him doing the, the third quarter, into third quarter interview, I'm, I'm all ears because I know I'm going to get something. Right. But it's that very style that I don't like. Why, even though I'm not the biggest Dwight Howard fan, I'm definitely keeping Dwight over Stan because Stan was a longtime assistant who became a head coach and became pretty full of himself as a head coach. He, he liked to be the face of the franchise, the, the go-to guy for the media, and he, he became very sarcastic and dismissive of his players. And it's, it's a lot of blame deflection. My guys, we, we can't make a shot. Oh, I don't know what's wrong oh, with we us. We need to play yeah. defense Come on. rather than would I'm not guys, doing a good job. Yeah, would you guys fair, play fair, some fair, defense? Fair, fair criticism. That. Okay. Fair. We need to play deep. They need to play To the defense. point that Otis Smith finally said coming into this year, Stan, let's, let's calm it down a little bit. Your sideline act, all you're throwing up your arms and saying, what are we doing? Just, just calm down a little bit on the sidelines. Is he a bad coach? No, he's not a bad coach. But if, if you force us, Carissa, I to am, make I'm this choice. I am forcing you to make this okay, choice. Okay, I have to go. I'm, I'm no Dwight fan, but I'm definitely not a Stan fan. So to answer this question, again, the, y y you make a good point. Okay, but you're going to get what for Dwight? Well, right. that's the, the other side of this. That, yeah, and look, let me just make this clear. Those are all fair criticisms of Stan. The only one I'd probably disagree strongly with is I don't think he likes being the face of anything. I don't think he wants to be have the attention. It just happens to be his personality draws that in because he's an honest guy. Yeah, okay, but he's which, got a little Rex in him. I think he really uh, enjoys see, that's where That's where attention. I disagree with you, but I, I don't think that's... I, I, I'm not saying that the coach is more important than the player. I will never say that, okay? I'm saying that Stan can coach quality players and they're going to be good. I think Dwight has the potential of being not really a disruptive force, but he has a, he has a potential of just being this diva, this... He was guy disruptive who, earlier. Yeah. I mean, yeah. In the but decision, but decision but part two. going to alter or... or, or affect the team in a negative okay, way but, but also more he than had, Stan Van Gundy He had Gundy another was. critic was Shaq, right? So, so it's not like it's just Dwight Howard. Shaq also didn't have much for Stan Van Gundy, too. And you would, you would say Shaq is a champion, played for a lot of great coaches. I would say, I would say, Shaq, I would say Shaq probably had that before he ever got coached by Stan Van Gundy, only has respect for guys with championship rings. That's, that's, that's his, that was his M.O. going in. Okay, so you guys keep Dwight, you keep Stan Van Gundy. Let's just do it real, real quickly. No real quickly, who's shots. there longer, Dwight Howard or Stan Van Gundy? I, I say neither. Both, <laughs> neither? Both, both, both are going to be gone at the end of the year. It's going to wow. be Howard. Oh, sure, it's Dwight.